It's easy to define the character of someone who would storm our nation's capital in an attempted coup. A soulless, brainless, witless, hapless, gutless coward and traitor who worships a pathetic anti-American con artist as their orange overlord. That said, it's pretty easy to predict their behavior as well. So this story comes as no surprise at all when we hear one of the insurrectionists got caught forging and distributing hundreds of fake vaccine cards for all of these fascist QAnon buddies. If these people had any thoughts outside of their alt-right half-mind impulses controlled by Mango Mussolini, maybe they'd actually do something outside the fascist playbook. But no, their souls are completely dominated by far-right imbecilic dogma, and they literally have no free will outside of that canon. Of course, this moron is anti-science, but let me clarify. I am sure that 99% of all these jack loons have had literally every vaccine but the COVID vaccine. And of course he wants a free meal, to be able to go places where nobody wants him, to endanger the health and infringe on the rights of legal law-abiding citizens without having any of the rules apply to him, to suck all the benefits away from society without giving anything back in return, or taking any responsibility or accountability at all. Just like his orange overlord, these people are freeloaders in the worst way. He never intellectually grew past the terrible twos. Everything is always me, 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 and they go through life as a leech sucker off of the lives of civilized people, respecting nobody and earning no respect for themselves, and they are shameless of it. They point the finger at minorities to make themselves feel better. Well, guess what? Minorities have earned their way tenfold, and what have you done for this nation besides try to destroy it? So he prints his little pretend get out of jail free cards. This is a reoccurring theme with these jackaloons. They think that they can hold secret meetings with fake electors and conjuring up fake votes, and if they write it all down on a little piece of paper, it must make their little fascist hearts all warm and fuzzy inside. Anything they don't like goes down the toilet, of course. These MAGA cosplaytriots are a bunch of Barbie girls living in a Barbie world. They spend all their money on play acting with their guns, camo, and building their prepper bunkers. Then they whine and cry about how bad they have it. And guess who didn't help you there? Donald Trump. You know, the guy who literally took your money to fund a four-year never-ending golf trip and a massive freeloaders giveaway in the name of corporate welfare. These idiots until they're looking at the world from behind a set of steel bars. Adding conspiracy fraud to this joker's rap sheet, which obviously includes sedition and treason already, will make the rest of his days a lot of fun. And was it worth it there, moron? Donald Trump surely thanks you for your service in kissing his backside and forsaking your life and emptying your pockets for his own personal well-being. But there is good news. You'll have plenty of company in the federal pen. You can spend the next 20 years telling how you donned your tinfoil hat and homemade suit of chain mail, waving your savior's banner in a failed siege against democracy. Wait, what was the point behind all that again? Was it the oh so righteous cause you were fighting for? What was that? Oh yeah, for that big ugly orange blob two cell blocks down. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.